there's been a huge fish die off around New York and Nova Scotia on the East Coast, affecting areas Southampton Beach, Long Island. You have more than a million pounds of smelly fish on one of the wealthiest streets in the Hamptons. After the fish kill, 1.4 million pounds of dead fish washed up and wealthy residents can't turn on the heat because it smells so bad. Southampton, New York. The after effects of the massive fish kill in the Shinnecoop Canal continue to pile up in the Hamptons. And most recently, more than a million pounds of smelly bunker have washed up near the Meadow Lane, one of the wealthiest areas in Southampton. Cleanup efforts are underway on both Southampton's town supervisor Jay Schneiderman and Southampton Village Mayor Mark Epley said Monday with Will Caldwell of Seawell Fish leading the efforts. We removed 12 tons of fish today, Epley said Monday. The town hired the same company Will Caldwell to remove the fish. Now you have Shoreheim Nuclear Power Plant. That's on the other side of Long Island. But imagine all those fish go belly up and then water could push them down and they could fall back over into Long Island. You also have a couple other new plants, Milestone Nuclear Plant. Plus you have the Haddam Neck. And then even Indian Point, some of its water could end up over here too. So you have at least four nuclear plants, even year five dumping into this region. Right now, not too far from Hampton Bay, we have a spike here, 164. It's averaging 120, so it's definitely going over. And I even found this. Seems around the 20th or so, there was some spike here. The village, Epley said, is working to gain a permit from New York State Department of Environmental Conservation to go onto the marsh and collect the dead bunker. Something rotten in Southampton, but the deluge of dead fish has meant something rotten in the villages. Unfortunately, the locks are open after the fish died, and the village along Meadow Lane is impacted greatly. The smell is bad. I've received complaints. Fortunately, this happened now, not in the middle of the summer, Epley said. Schneiderman said Caldwell and his crew remove approximately 57,000 pounds or 28.5 tons of dead smelly fish from Shinnecook Bay beaches in three days over the weekend. That's a lot of fish, Southampton told. Schneiderman said Caldwell and his crew removed approximately 57,000 pounds or 28.5 tons of dead smelly fish from Shinnecook Bay beaches in the three days over the weekend. That's a lot of fish. Southampton Town will take the fish into its facility where it will become fertilizer. The town will also take the village's bunker charge, no tipping fee, Schneiderman said. So these fish will be put onto crops and they'll grow all this lettuce and berries and kale and all those wonderful things. They might even be called organic at the same time. So just uh, heads up here. Might not want to be buying produce from wherever it takes this fertilizer. Our facility is capable of taking in another 100 yards of material. We will end up with excellent compost next year, said the supervisor. Meadowing Fish Schneiderman said, It just goes on for a very long stretch. It's just tremendous. All the fish that died in Shinny Cook got pushed out with the outgoing tide, and as they began to decompose, began to flow. Prevailing winds pushed them in a southeasterly direction to Meadow Lane, where many multi million dollar estates are located, the supervisor said. I think some people were 
surprised when they came out for the weekend and the smell was unbearable. Caldwell said neighbors on Meadow Lane had approached him as he commenced with his cleanup. Two homeowners said they walked and begged him to come to their house. They said they can't turn on the heat because the smell is coming from the vent is atrocious. They've been living in the cold. Oh, they've been living in the cold. And these fish. Another woman, a caretaker for an enormous mansion, said the homeowners came over this weekend. They said they're not coming back until this is over with. The homeowners call out said they want to write a letter to the mayor to complain. I told her she needed to write the mayor to thank him. This is a huge expense for these municipalities. They just can't handle it, she said. They just can't handle it. Southampton Town has contracted $6,000 for cleanup for three days, Friday through Sunday. Southampton Village Carwell said he has contracted for four days at a price of 10 grand. But this project could go into a month, Carwell said. So it's going to take him a whole freaking month to clean up the fish? Is that how bad it is? But this project could go on for a month, Cabo said. We're seeing if this can be declared a natural disaster and can receive some federal emergency management funding in the village, he said. We just can't afford something like this. We got these multi-million dollar mansions around here. And I can't go outside because it smells. And I, I can't turn on the heat because it smells too. Just get rid of the smell. That's all you care about. Cabo said he was working at half his normal rate because he lives in town but it's still expensive. Schneiderman said at some point the town will run out of the ability to take in the massive loads of fish. There may be a private farmer that can take some of it in, he said. Yeah, a private farmer. But you need to freaking bury this. And who knows how bad. Maybe in a radioactive waste facility depending on the isotopes in. Who knows what tests they're telling. How can you even plant this, make this compost you don't even know how the fish die. This doesn't make sense. The supervisor said he's very pleased with the efforts of Southampton Town trustees in the Bayman. Altogether, Carlo says so far he's taken away close to 200,000 pounds of fish in one day in Southampton Village. He moved 12 tons of 24,000 pounds. The total the amount of fish to be removed from Southampton Village, he said, is 1.4 million pounds. In total, the amount of fish to be removed from Southampton Village, he said, is 1.4 million pounds. It's unbelievable, he said. It's huge. It's the biggest fish kill he's faced by tenfold, Caldwell said. Caldwell said, a bobcat type machine is used with men raking the fish into rows and using pitchforks to put them into buckets for removal. No heavier equipment can be used on the beach for fear of hurting the beach or grass, he said. Yeah, don't hurt the beach while the ocean is dead. Makes a lot of sense. Cowell said when he surveys the scene, its enormity astounds. All I can say is, wow, this is crazy, he said. It's crazy. Killing the ocean is crazy. button hit the remix button that way you'll have this video otherwise you know YouTube's just gonna control us guys and it's, it's really bad